hello you guys and welcome back to the vlogs it's been a while i know i've missed you guys so much i said this in my last video but in case you didn't see that one thank you guys so much just for your patience while i was unintentionally like gone from youtube for like two and a half weeks that was not my plan but i've missed you guys so much i'm so excited to get back to vlogging so today is wednesday and i'm excited for today i I'm going to an open house today for a house that I found last week and <laughs> I think a lot of people are interested in it which is like why they're having an open house because I've never been to an open house for a house that's renting you know what I mean well I've never been to an open house in general but I feel like don't they usually have them for houses that like people are buying I'm just trying to rent so we'll see so I'm excited about that I wanted to give like a mini moving update so I toured a house about three weeks ago actually from today loved it and applied for it and apparently still haven't heard back which I think is a little weird but I think a lot of people applied and um, the landlord told me that they're still reviewing the applications and going to hopefully have a decision by he did say mid this week so i'm not trying to get sad about it because i think that what they wanted to do was like have a lot of sorry squirrels barking have a lot of applications submitted versus go for like the first people that applied because i think i was the first that applied um so yeah I, I was trying not to get too like my heart caught on that one but i did love it i didn't vlog it because whenever i went to tour it the other people were still living there so they gave us a tour so it would have been very weird to like film their stuff and you know what i mean so i didn't vlog it but i was just planning on like if i did get that house i would have done just like an empty house tour for you guys like before anything was in there but um i'm not feeling i mean i don't, still don't want to say like no because I still don't know but at this point three weeks later i'm like okay maybe they went with someone else which is fine it's like a competitive market right now even for renting i'm going to another open house today i don't think i like this house quite as much but there's definitely a lot of better perks to it than the other house that i toured and i've been looking at places just to give you guys like another like update update <laughs> i've been looking online at places for like probably a month and a half now around a month and a half and i've literally only found these two places that were like in my budget that i want to tour <laughs> like to be honest it's i haven't liked a lot of stuff and i'm picky so um i'm trying to wait and i definitely don't want to settle for anything it's one o'clock now and they're having it from two to four so i think i'll go around three something because i want to get some editing done before that I just made a coffee and I'm gonna sit down on my laptop, probably bring it down to the office actually, and edit the video I filmed yesterday because I actually wanna to try to get it up by tonight because a bitch is behind on YouTube. It's 2.45 now, oh my gosh, I'm yawning. <laughs> I just finished up about, uh, well, I guess I wasn't editing for even two hours, but I did most of my video, which is exciting. I think I rubbed my eyes and I have like mascara under there from last night, even though I did makeup remover. I'm gonna go make myself look a little more presentable before this open house um, and I'm gonna change even though I don't really need to I think I have an outfit in mind and then I'm going to drive over there to have something for lunch if I have time or I will after and I feel good because I thought the video was gonna take me longer to edit and I'm definitely almost finishing up with it which is good so it didn't take as long as i thought it was going to okay guys this is my outfit minus my shoes for going to the open house i think jared's going to maybe be able to meet me there yeah we're looking at houses together which i guess i haven't really said that but we are <laughs> so really excited about that he's pretty much been trying to move for the past couple months and we've been talking about it for a while and it feels like the next place that I move into would be our place so he's looking with me basically he's on this search with me he's actually working down there I say down there because it's like 20 minutes away from me which is not that far but it's in a different part of town and he's actually working in that part of town and thinks he's going to be done by 3 30 which would be awesome because the uh, thing ends at 4 so I'm going to try to get there around 3 30 and hopefully he can like meet me there but anyway this is what I'm wearing I'm going to put on my shoes when 
we go downstairs, ignore the dog toys and stuff in the background. My room's kind of a little bit of a mess right now. I need to like pick some things up. But Megan gave me this cute top. Um, we did a little mini clothing swap. We like to do that now whenever we see each other. It's kind of fun to just like switch up our pieces every few months. So she gave me this and I think it's so pretty for fall. I don't know where the top's from, but I think she thrifted it. Fits me really well, so I have that. Have some earrings. All I did was do, uh, do my eyebrows and then um, curl my eyelashes. So that's like my bare minimum and like put on earrings. Um, and then I have on these pants which are from my last month's Newly box and I purchased them because I really like them and also they're so comfortable and I feel like they're flattering too. Like they just are cute. I'm excited to wear them like all fall. They're from Free People but like I said, they're from my Newly box. Um, anyway, you guys, I'm going to drive there. I wanted to say, I don't know if I'm gonna film. It depends on the vibe. I will take pictures if I don't film um, of the house. If there's a bunch of other people there, I probably won't walk around with my camera, but I will take pictures if I don't film. So, excited to see the house. Don't really know what to expect. Hopefully I like it, but we'll see. Okay guys, just finished seeing the house. I didn't vlog, there was other people there, so I felt a little awkward, but I did take a bunch of pictures. Um, Jared met me there, which was great, because he got to see it too. It worked out good. I would say though, that overall, I liked a lot of parts about it, but I don't think I want to apply. Jared was kind of saying the same thing. Like, first of all, it's very far out. The location is, pretty much as far out as I would want to be in Boise. It took me like 25 minutes from my current house to get here, which I know in a lot of places that's probably not that far, but it's a little farther than I think I would ideally like. There was some great parts about it. I didn't take photos of the backyard, which is stupid. I guess I took photos of mostly everything, but I forgot about the outside because that was like the first thing that we saw and I got distracted. The backyard was amazing. It was very big and spacious fenced in which would would be such a positive like the other house that we toured um which i was telling you guys about three weeks ago barely had any outdoor space which sucked it had like kind of like enough room for what i have on my balcony right now but there was no grass because it's a townhome although i will say i like the house a lot better <laughs> just because it's more my style like the house i'm talking about three weeks ago if i compare them i was so obsessed with that one um so maybe it'll work out that who knows maybe we will hear back from them late because the guy's kind of been like i told you guys taking his time i am gonna just continue my search i'm not you know giving up i'll put in the photos of the house that we just saw there was parts that i liked about it but overall the house they did make a lot of really pretty pretty like updates to it with like the bathrooms and i thought the kitchen was cool even though it had these like light green counters i still thought it was really pretty it had beautiful countertops overall though i think if i had to choose i would pick something that was a little more open i didn't love the carpets not even like because they're carpets i think i've settled on the fact that if i'm not buying a house i think i'm gonna have to deal with carpets and in the bedrooms it's just like a thing <laughs> you guys know i prefer a hardwood floor everywhere um very hard to find though in the rentals it was pretty kind of dark in the house like you guys will probably see in my photos i'll try to brighten them up um sorry i'm literally my camera's bouncing around because i'm going on these weird roads but um, I wanted to include that those photos for you guys and just show you this process I will tell you that this process has been harder than I expected two years ago when I applied for my house I'm pretty sure I was the only person to apply or at least the first people person to apply and I got approved and this house that we applied for three weeks ago was like I don't even know how many people applied but apparently it was a lot because he wanted to like compare them and everything I'm just talking now Jared and I are going to lunch to talk about the house more and just like catch up because I haven't seen him all day um we're gonna get a quick lunch in the area this really cute area actually that the house wasn't too far from so um oh I'm seeing a beautiful house to my left right now I'm just manifesting that house for myself although it looks really expensive so I'm gonna just keep Persistent, continue my search. Mm. Wow. It's a pretty night. Early fall. The sun is 
going down switching to this portion of the video to thank our sponsor for this vlog i'm so grateful for all of my sponsors because they allow me to keep creating content for you guys so thank you so much to green chef for sponsoring they're actually a repeat sponsor on my channel which i love i love to work with brands more than once especially brands that i really like and now i have a box that i'm going to cook one of the recipes with you guys tonight for dinner green chef is a usda certified organic company and they have dishes for a variety of lifestyles including vegetarian vegan paleo and keto here's my meals that i got in this box so they're all in their recyclable bags and i got spicy mango chicken moroccan beef and sweet potato chili and pork with cherry barbecue sauce which is the one that i'm gonna make tonight and i have the balanced plan which means it includes meat but if you do not eat meat or catering to your specific diet you can get one of their different plans but this is just the one that i always choose and i've been very happy with the recipes are quick and easy as you can see here with step-by-step -step instructions chef tips and photos to guide you along the whole process. And then the back has the actual like full instruction with the photos of every step. Green Chef is actually the most sustainable meal kit, which is why I love working with them and pretty much why it's the only meal kit that I use. Green Chef offsets 100% of its direct carbon emissions and plastic packaging in every box. So with their wide variety of high quality, clean ingredients, you can feel great about what you're eating and how it got to your table. And this includes organic, non-GM, and sustainably sourced produce. So Green Chef is now owned by HelloFresh to offer a wider variety of meal plans. So I have worked with HelloFresh in the past as well. And I love switching between both services and both meal kits, just depending on my lifestyle. So of course I have an amazing offer for you guys today. It's actually a hundred dollars off. So you do not want to sleep on this offer. So you can go to greenchef.us slash lindsayhughes100 and use the code lindsayhughes100 for a hundred dollars off off including free shipping on your first box i mean that's kind of like an incredible discount so the link will be in the description box down below to go and claim your offer all right i'm so excited i'm playing the lumineers in the background if y'all are wondering but i'm gonna have to play some copyrighted copyright free not copyright music during my prep but cooking is just i'm in the mood to cook i'm in the mood to just drink my wine and vibe out so let's go potatoes just came out i flipped them halfway through because i'm obnoxious and i'm obsessed with them like perfectly crisping up <laughs> they look so good super seasoned i have my barbecue sauce right here and I'm about to plate everything potatoes are so crispy i put a lot of that sauce on there it looks amazing i put a lot of that sauce on there i'm excited to try the cherry barbecue sauce i probably could have done the salad on another plate just because it's really touching everything but i feel like it looks so pretty served on one plate with all the colors i'm having a glass of pinot gris and i am so excited to eat this i guess you can't really tell but i'm eating <laughs> i'm loving my meal so much i'm dipping my potatoes individually into this black truffle ketchup i'm watching youtube um i love to watch youtube while i eat like as someone who lives alone you know it just kind of makes me feel not alone when i'm eating and also like what am i gonna do when i'm eating just like stare at the wall you know what i mean like it's either like i'm gonna be on my phone i'm gonna be watching something so i'm gonna finish my meal and just have a chill rest of my night the lighting looks not great <laughs> Um, but I'm gonna film anyway. The sun's kind of going up, so I don't have much natural light coming in. Um, I haven't vlogged in a couple hours. Hi, Squirtle. 
Um, I had lunch with Jared after we toured the house and that was fun. Got to see each other. Wasn't really like thinking I was gonna see him today, but he ended up being able to come to the house, open house, and we had a little lunch date after, so that was fun. And then I got home and I finished editing the video from earlier. I can't decide if I want to put it up tonight or tomorrow. Usually I like to publish my videos around noon or 1 p.m. because it ends up being like the middle of the day for like almost everyone, unless you're, you know, like 12 hours later or ahead or something. Um, but yeah, I guess it's like eight o'clock. So that's like 10 o'clock on the East Coast and it would probably when it go up for, yeah, I'm probably gonna publish it tomorrow. Although I, I'm gonna get everything done for it tonight so that it just goes live tomorrow. But um, I also got a beautiful <sighs> surprise and well, not really a surprise. I've known that these were coming for literally 10 weeks. I just put these on my Instagram story, but I ordered this pair of boots from Depop in literally, I think June, you guys. It might've been July, might've been July. I ordered these 10 weeks ago. That is the longest anything's ever taken to come from Depop. I guess it's because I messaged the seller and I guess it's because she was like by coastal this summer and like wasn't with her inventory or something. So she couldn't ship the boots out until she went back to wherever she like lives or something like that. I don't know, it was very confusing. I personally as a seller would never make someone wait 10 weeks for an order. I was literally like feel so bad. I don't think it was like bad customer service. I just think like, I wish I had known that the boots were gonna take 10 weeks to ship to me before I purchased them, but they are perfect. I, I will say it was worth the wait. I love shopping on Depop for like cute boots and shoes, looking there before another store or buying new because you can find so many gems, you guys, and you can search by like your size or style, whatever. Anyway, let me just get to the boots. You guys know I'm fully just like embracing my cowgirl lifestyle, especially this past like year. I just feel like I belong in Austin, Texas. What can I say? These are my new boots. Honestly, they're perfect for fall though. So I'm not mad. Like I feel like they're actually came in at a perfect time. I wanted them for summer, but it's the first day of fall today. They're so cute though. You guys, I got these for I think 60 bucks or 65, which is not bad because it says that they are genuine leather so and i don't you guys probably won't be able to tell but if i go really close they have a little texas <laughs> a texas uh logo or whatever i don't know i guess they were made in texas um yeah texas american made in usa so love that i literally think these boots were made for me they're my exact size I already tried them on i think i'm gonna have to break them in but you guys will see me wearing these a lot i've been wearing my cow printed boots for so long now, I feel like I was ready for something new. I don't really have any brown boots, so. Yeah, I definitely recommend looking on places like Depop or Poshmark where people resell, and you can find some pretty good deals and also just find really unique stuff. Anyway, guys, I am... You dropped your ball. You never play with this ball. You never play with your mini tennis ball. <laughs> I love them. I think I'm actually gonna go out on my balcony for like 45 minutes or an hour. It's nice night. And I think I'm just going to do the details for my video and just kind of vibe out, have a nice chill night. Okay, it is, I think it's like 10 o'clock now. And I'm about to watch some Hulu. Actually, I already have been. I just watched Bachelor in Paradise and I'm gonna watch Nine Perfect Strangers. And I'm having a late dinner and just heated up some potato leek soup that jared and i made last night it's so good i can't wait to eat it again i have it on a bowl and a plate because the bowl got really really hot when i reheated it this is my night guys good morning guys it is well it's at mostly the afternoon um but it is thursday and i don't have breakfast food because i still haven't gone grocery shopping so i'm having soup first thing of the day more leftover soup so good though, I'm honestly not complaining. It's potatoes, so I guess it's not that weird to have first thing in the day. I'm about to power, do some dishes, and tidy up the kitchen. I feel like I do this in every vlog, but yeah, I mean, I need to do it for peace of mind today. Um, today I have a lot I wanna get done, so I actually wrote out like a, a schedule of the times I wanna like try and do stuff. So first thing I wanna do today is tidy up 
which I'm starting right now. I'm actually finally filming my house tour video this weekend. So I'm spending the next three days um, prepping, basically cleaning my house since there's a lot of it that's a mess right now, honestly, uh, and I want it to look clean. So since there's three levels of my house, since I live in like a skinny townhouse, um, I'm gonna try and do one level every day. So today I'm gonna try to do the bottom level, but I also wanna do the kitchen up here. Um, so we'll see how much I get done today, tomorrow, hopefully <laughs> more, and Saturday, another level. So that's kind of my goal. Um, and I'm gonna go to a cycling class at the YMCA today. I haven't been to that in like two weeks. So I'm really excited, probably more than two weeks. Yeah, I'm really excited to go back to that. I have not been working out at all, honestly. That's like something that I just haven't been making time for, honestly. And do I miss it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't miss it that much, but at least going to like a couple classes or something a week is like doable, so. My signature little <laughs> hair sticking up. I always seem to have a little pokey piece when I do a, a shorter piece when I do a high ponytail. <laughs> I'm gonna go to my cycling class. I'm in a cute little set from girlfriends. And then after that, I'm gonna go grocery shopping, just kind of do it all while I'm out. I cannot believe I've been putting off grocery shopping for like, I've been back in town for six days and I haven't gone and <laughs> It's really time to go. So I've just been cleaning and tidying since I last talked to you guys. I didn't really accomplish as much as I wanted to, but I did get like a good amount of stuff done. But my vacuum cleaner ended up like, I don't think it's broken, but something's going on with it. And it's like, I can't vacuum right now, which is problematic because I need to figure out, which I didn't have the patience for today. I need to figure out how to fix that because I need to vacuum the entire house where I would like to at least before my house tour but anyway i'm just kind of rambling now and i need to get in the car and drive just finished my class really good class today i missed it i just love going and seeing my teacher kim she's the best <laughs> and now i'm gonna go to trader joe's i've been to trader joe's in forever i'm like excited to go. i haven't even been since they put like the fall stuff so I might get a little carried away. I likely will. I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's and then I'll go to Winco. I'm super hungry right now, so I do luckily have an emergency car snack because I don't wanna like go home and I don't wanna really like pick something up like that's quick. So I'm gonna eat some of my <laughs> emergency car snack, my chili and garlic cashews from Trader Joe's. I might need to get more of these. I'm probably gonna get like a grab and go salad at Trader Joe's because I am gonna make dinner when I get home, but realistically, like probably won't get home till like after seven, it's 5.30, and my dinner won't actually be ready probably for like an hour after I start cooking. So I definitely need something to hold me over for the next like three hours. <laughs> I feel really good, I feel like I'm like, flowing with endorphins after that i needed that i had not worked out literally and like i mean i've been like bike riding and stuff i guess i've been like bike riding but i haven't been like actually like workout workout so that was good <sighs> i'm chatty today <laughs> i think the caffeine from earlier is still flowing so i'll give you guys a grocery haul when i get home as always and i'll see you probably then and everything that you gave I feel like she's looking extra beautiful today. The presentation, I mean, the layout. Let's get started. <laughs> I feel like I haven't done a grocery haul in a while, but it's probably only been like a month. I got some snap peas, some two things of bird's bees because I was out and I have a lip balm addiction, you guys. Like, that's something you should know about me. I just tried this one. I've never tried this flavor. I like it. I'm not a huge coconut person, but I tried it. I like it. I think the OG is still you know, bay. So I'm gonna keep one in my purse, 
one in this little thing right here that I actually already opened. I like to have lip balm everywhere, you guys. I got some Cliff Bars. These are my current favorite, you guys. A peanut toffee buzz. I'm actually that not much, not that much of a peanut person, but the toffee, and they also have like. I don't know if it has coffee, but it has caffeine, and they're so good. These are like my current favorite flavor, and then I got two other flavors. I was never really like into Cliff Bars until I discovered this flavor, and now I just think they're good for like on the go, something to grab really quick just to have them. I got some eggs and some turkey for sandwiches. I don't know why I've like re-entered a deli meat phase, but it probably will be a brief phase. I got some Planet Oat. I actually got two of these and I already put one in the freezer, but I wanted to show you guys one. So the other flavor that I got was um, cookies and cream, but that needs to go in there because I bought that like almost two hours ago. I got some Bonza. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. That's right. Pasta. I tried this before and it was pretty good. So I wanted to get another box of that. Um, these are super yummy that I've recently discovered. I like them a lot at least. These Chipotle vegetable quesadillas. It's basically just beans, corn, and cheese, I think, in a little tortilla. They're pretty easy to make in the air fryer for a nice quick lunch or something. And yeah, I bought two boxes because they only have two in them. So I went through them pretty quickly last time I got them. I also got an old favorite that I haven't bought in a few months because it's more of like a fall item. This tomato and roasted red pepper soup. It's so good. If you like tomato soup, it's super good to dip like grilled cheese in or just put like some crackers or croutons or have with bread. It's so good. <laughs> a regular cream cheese and then I was totally tempted. I think I've had this before. The pumpkin cream cheese. Oh my gosh. I got some bagels to have with that. <laughs> um, so yummy. I also got some fancy butter. I don't usually buy this, but I don't know. It was speaking to me. I went to the grocery store when I was hungry and I always get random shit but this stuff is so good if you've never tried this like irish butter amazing <laughs> as far as my pumpkin stuff i did get a few things i got that i got this pumpkin alfredo sauce with grana padano and pecorino romano it sounds really good so hopefully that'll be yummy i'll probably make this and this one night this weekend or something for dinner and then i got some pumpkin pie spice because i didn't have any and i want to use this a little bit of this in my coffees at home to make a little you know starbucks copycat type thing spicy hummus has been my favorite as of lately i always eat hummus to snack on so the spicy one and then these once again were an impulse buy i literally just looked at them and was like i want it but they look so good. Pumpkin cinnamon rolls. Hopefully they'll be yummy. I don't think I've ever tried these before. Here's my produce bag. I needed basically everything except potatoes because I do have some. But everything else. And I got some apples. I don't usually buy those. But I need to eat more fruit, you guys. Honestly, <laughs> it's true. I got butter lettuce because honestly, whenever I've been buying a big thing of lettuce, I do not finish it and it just goes to waste. So probably going to try to buy lettuce in smaller, like, quantities i also got some candy to fill this little pumpkin which i put one in there already i don't know really why i did that <laughs> because i had a loose one um but yeah i got some halloween candy in the bulk section to put in here can't wait and then i got another like <laughs> something that called me aussie style chocolate cream sandwich cookies i think these are a copycat of tim tams which are so fucking good i used to be obsessed with those i haven't had them in forever so i want to try these trader joe's ones out and then i got three wines a pinot grigio dry riesling and a rosé i'm really excited to try all of these i've actually already had these two before but not the rosé. I got some pasta, some tortellini, some ground chicken, a chicken pot pie, chicken burrito bowl. I think I might have gotten too much stuff to put in my freezer and I'm worried that it's not going to close, but we're going to do our best. <laughs> I also got some raspberries and some garlic and onion pistachios. I got a thing of bread. I haven't bought this one in a while, but I do like it. The artisan rustic bread. I also got like can you tell when i was at trader joe's i was just like going crazy because i was hungry i got all this random stuff that i don't usually buy but I'm not, i don't necessarily regret it um tomato ketchup with black summer truffle i honestly got this because i don't have any ketchup in my fridge i realized that the other week and so why not have a fancy one from trader joe's got this little mini pumpkin y'all know i i had to i actually already had this one from megan gave me this my little gourd that she grew oh my god megan hope pretend you didn't see that my little gourd that she grew me in her farm and then i got this one because i don't have any like this this year and these ones always i don't know why i love the look of these little guys like two bucks how could i not y'all know 
I have an addiction to mini pumpkins. What can I say? Then I got these dippers um, to have with salsa, maybe some guac, some everything bagels. This is the shaving cream I've been using the past couple months. I really like it, so I'm about to be out. So I got a replacement and mini peanut butter cups once again in impulse like but those are good those are good they remind me of my childhood because ritz bits like take me back to my childhood i love the cheese ones i love the peanut butter ones i love them all so i love how trader joe's has like a knockoff you know ritz bit and then i got some flowers just because i don't have any fresh flowers these were like some sort of a fall something that looked really pretty and then i got some i think these are lilies and most of them are still gonna open up, which is really nice. So I think that's it, you guys. I think that's the whole grocery haul. It's already 8.37 p.m., you guys, and I haven't made dinner yet. <laughs> By the way, while we're over here, look at the most beautiful thing in the entire universe that I found at, in, at a thrift store when we were in McCall, Idaho. It's literally a cow tea kettle. I mean, I can't even believe that this came into my life. It was $3.99. I shared it on Instagram the other day, but I think it's me in a fucking kettle. I still have on my workout clothes from four hours ago. So <laughs> I didn't, well, I did wear this to the grocery store, but I put a shirt on over it. And then I got hot when I came home and changed out of it. But I'm gonna cook dinner with you guys tonight. We're gonna make a green chef. I don't know if I'm gonna put that in the vlog before this. So if I do, that clip you'll have already seen it but that's what i'm about to do i love cooking dinner it's very relaxing for me i have been back in a cooking phase which is great because you guys remember i was in that super long phase where i wasn't into cooking for like two months this summer and don't even remember that woman like i'm fully back in the cooking era of my life <laughs> but it's been a really good day i'm in a great mood i actually stopped by jerry's house for like 20 minutes on the way home which is why it's 8 40 p.m right now i'm a little bit <laughs> i'm a little bit later than i plan to be today but i since i had that salad that held me over um and i also had some chocolate i did i had some of the chocolate that i bought in the car so that kind of was holding me over until my late dinner but i stopped by to see jared he's feeling kind of sick because he got his um he got a booster shot for his vaccine um i didn't even know you could get that yet <laughs> um but he ended up getting like an early one so he got that yesterday and so today he's feeling pretty fevery and under the weather which sucks so i went by his house and dropped him off some soup and chocolate and a mini pumpkin <laughs> i'm gonna go put this stuff away now and we're gonna cook dinner together you didn't get any airtime in the vlog how dare i do that Look at my little sweet man. You look so sad, but you were just sleeping. You were just tired, right? He's like, no, I'm very sad that you are editing instead of petting my cheek like this. All right, guys, I am starting to edit this video because it's due tomorrow. It's like midnight, but I kind of had a bit of a slower evening like second half of my day than planned so i'm doing this as opposed to waking up early and editing which i never do i never succeed at waking up early like ever so we're just not gonna even try but i'm gonna end off this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give this vlog a thumbs up if you made it until the end um check out all the links in the description box down below i will keep you guys updated on my house touring search please send good i don't want to say the word vibes but energy just send good thoughts my way because this has been a very long already process of not finding many options and the construction is bad 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 it's so loud every day and i really want to move so please send good thoughts my way um but i do believe that hopefully you know i'll find the right house when it's time even if i have to be extra patient thank you guys for watching as always i hope you enjoyed this vlog and i will see you very soon in another video which is my house tour get ready i'll see y'all soon <laughs> that was weird but bye